My name is Munira Al Kadiri. Munira Al Kadiri. I'm an artist from uh, Kuwait. I studied in Japan. I was born in Senegal and now I live in Berlin. So my kind of uh, identity is a bit hybrid, I would say, as an artist. I don't feel like I belong anywhere, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm a mutant. <laughs> During the war in Kuwait in 1990, I became kind of obsessed with Japanese cartoons as a kind of way to escape the present that I was in. And I went to Japan when I was 16 by myself, which uh, thinking about it now, I think is a totally insane thing to do. <laughs> I got my PhD uh, when I was 27 from Tokyo University of Arts. My thesis was called The Aesthetics of Sadness in the Middle East. Uh, in the Arab world, there is this feeling of melancholy that's somehow seen as a very noble and beautiful thing. It's both silly and, but you can appreciate it at the same time. So my mother, Thoreya al baksami is also an artist. She's a painter and a printmaker. She never taught me how to paint. She was against teaching art and how art is made. But it was just a natural thing I never thought about doing anything else. Sometimes I wonder if my mother wasn't an artist, would I be doing this now? Probably not. <laughs> my sister Fatima Al-Kadiri is a musician and also an artist. Ever since we were kids, we were kind of collaborating somehow, if you want to call it that. It was just like this telepathic relationship. Still now, we work together a lot on different projects and um, I'm always inspired by her. I see all of my work as a kind of self-portrait, a giant self-portrait, even though it's a sculpture or a video, even if I'm not in it. When I was growing up in Kuwait, I was uh, cross-dressing most of the time. <laughs> I think I had this kind of uh, interesting uh, gender identity and it still plays out a lot in my work. Um, being from Kuwait, I'm you know always thinking about how oil has changed uh, life in general, uh, especially my life and my surroundings in Kuwait. So I'm just interested in kind of the metaphysical aspects of what oil is, and that's what I call petroculture. I'm also very much obsessed with the past, so I'm always time traveling between the future and the past. Um, yeah, I, my work is also somehow dealing sometimes with political subjects, which can be quite tricky. Um, but um, there is no escape, so you have to deal with it. 